Now, when you will go for your oral exam, in a, exam uh, sometimes in the topic of cargo work, I have seen students are being asked about the maintenance schedule for cargo handling equipment. So basically, the survey wants to know how would you go about maintaining uh, any kind of cargo handling equipment if available on board. Uh, so, for example, cranes or derricks or something like that. So they want you to talk a little bit about carrying out its maintenance uh, because uh, these days many of you are not sailing on ships with cranes and derricks. So it's a good idea for you to know about this. So if you ask such a question, start with uh, greasing the nipples on winches, blocks, derrick heel, crane turntables and similar equipment, uh, which should be attended to weekly. So on a weekly basis, mention about the greasing of the equipment. Then talk about inspection of ancillary equipment such as chains, rings, swivels. So ancillary means associated equipment along with the derricks and blocks, uh, which you can carry out every three months. Again, these are these are just uh, general uh, time periods I'm telling you based on the PMS that I had on my ship. Uh, again, this could be different from your ship as well, but gen on a general, you can just mention it generally. Uh, you can also carry out an overhaul of all the above equipment every six months. Uh, the derrick or crane should be stripped of all ancillary equipment and the gears taken apart, examined, greased and reassembled whenever it's possible to do so. Make sure that sometimes you also mention about uh, all grease nipples are extracted and examined uh, and properly maintained whenever it's possible. All equipment to be examined to ensure that the safe working load and the identifying numbers are eligible. So the safe working load is normally marked on the cranes or the derricks and uh, they should be always identified because with wear and tear, sometimes the paint uh, strips off and you cannot see. So all these things should be marked. Then in the maintenance schedule, talk about checking the safe working load and the identification number against the rigging plan location and number of that item. Uh, now, if you don't know what a rigging plan is, I made a separate video on rigging plan that I have put up. I'll give you the link to that uh, video as well in the description section below. So hopefully you can watch that video and learn about what is a rigging plan. Uh, any, if any equipment is replaced in the Derrick or crane, make sure the rigging plan is also amended and updated. It is essential that the rigging plan reflects the actual position of the cargo gear on board. Uh, check that all equipment has proper certification and lifting appliances like Derrick should be de-rusted, overhauled and painted every 12 months. So these are some of the things that you can mention if asked about the maintenance schedule of the cargo handling equipment. Uh, again, uh, to quickly explain the rigging plan, the rigging plan basically describes how the derricks are to be rigged because mostly derricks are pre-rigged from the dock side when the ship is being supplied. But if you carry out any kind of maintenance or you change wires or you change the rigging arrangement of the derrick, then you will have to refer to the rigging plan for it to be re-rigged again. Particular attention should be paid uh, to the swivel of the gooseneck as the derrick may have to be lifted for its overhauling. Uh, then make sure all equipment which includes the wire runners or uh, running wire, sometimes you say that, and winches are inspected before, during, as well as after use as well. If any item looks suspicious, make sure that you replace by a suitably certified equipment and then amend the rigging plan immediately. Uh, also remember if you carry out any major changes to the rigging or the cargo gear equipment, sometimes you may have to get an external surveyor to check or test the equipment and issue a certificate in the chain for the chain register. So if you are making any significant changes and it's always better to get an external surveyor and cargo inspector, and you can mention that to your orals examiner. So that will provide some good impression of the examiner.